Daily Blast Live has the inside scoop when it comes to trending hot topics, and today we're talking about the big game. Federal law enforcement officials announced Wednesday that they have arrested 33 people in Metro Atlanta on sex trafficking charges. Authorities said they had also rescued four victims as part of the operation. Advocates have warned that large sporting events, such as the Super Bowl, are attractive to those in the sex trafficking trade. Here to chime in on this subject, we have Daily Blast Live's Al Jackson and Tori Shulman. Hello, you guys. Good to see you. Good hey, Melissa. You. How are you? Wish we were talking about something more pleasant, but this is real. This, this is real is life. Very real. And uh, just so you know, it's the number one day of sex trafficking. I just want to give your viewers and our viewers some takeaway uh, things to look out for, especially at airports. If you see young girls looking withdrawn and with an older gentleman, they don't have any luggage. That's a big sign. If they're not mm. interacting with that gentleman, big sign. If they have burn marks, or this is going to sound rough, but tattoos of money symbols or barcodes, that oh. can indicate sex trafficking. So we want to be serious here because that uh, stewardesses and flight attendants have stopped sex trafficking in the middle of the moment because they're aware of these things. So we also have uh, a number 188-373-7888. If you see something, say something. I mean, yeah, and I think a lot of people might see something and you, you think about how many people probably saw something that just didn't look right. Right. But I think, unfortunately, we've been trained uh, for whatever reason to kind of let our instincts go. How many people do you know that, that saw something and were like, that, that, that little kid doesn't look like right. he belongs over there. But you go, I don't want to interfere. I don't want to look crazy. And maybe right. that's his mm -hmm. girlfriend. Maybe he's 55 and she's 19. I don't want to say anything. What's the word? You might have an awkward interaction. But is that, isn't that worth it? possibly saving a young girl's life so you know I was lucky enough to go to the Super Bowl last year and there's a lot of vice down there people offer you everything at all times because they know the people that can afford to go to the Super Bowl probably have disposable income mm -hmm. and people that go after vice go after drugs alcohol uh, strip clubs and unfortunately sex trafficked girls so yeah. let's try and put a stop to us I'm glad the federal government is reopened so that we have some people down hey. here I was yeah, so absolutely. worried about that amen, amen. Yeah. And, and, you know, honestly, it's mind-blowing to me that this is actually something that happens around uh, the Super Bowl. I mean, when I think of sports, I think of, like, positivity, you know, like a sportsmanship, everyone kind of rallying behind a team. But unfortunate that there are things like this that also go along with it. Yeah, they said that basically it's the perfect cover for sex traffickers because mm -hmm. so many people are busy doing so many other things. They slip through. So again, those airports and airplane trips are the number one place to catch them. In, in fact, a flight attendant wrote a note in a, in a napkin and put it in the bathroom in wow. the airplane and said, are you in trouble? She said yes, and they were police waiting at the gate. So wow. there's things you can do to help and be a hero. So please keep your eye open and don't be embarrassed, as Al said. Don't be yeah. afraid to be a hero. Yeah, and, and it's not like you're going to see those people likely again, right? So, like, even if it is yeah, a situation that, that perhaps she really is dating a 55-year-old man and it's not the situation you think, who cares if you're a little awkward for a moment? Great point. Exactly. That's right. I live me my and, life that me way. and Tori are the two most awkward people we ever. Really so we We're really fine. are. We really are. You guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Always great catching up with you. Thanks, Thanks Melissa. Melissa. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.